Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to build and program a gripper. There will also be some advice on how you can build one. We will be using the EV3 classroom program for coding the gripper. First of all, let's talk about how a gripper works. Uh, we will be doing this project with a medium motor that is provided by the EV3 corset. When the motor when the motor spins, it also spins this gear, which converts the horizontal movement into a vertical movement. This vertical movement is um, stretched out by this axle to these two gears. And when these two gears spin, they create a vertical movement. And then when, I, when we place another gear that is exactly 90 degrees uh, angle from it, we will create a horizontal movement. And by the way, these, these two are the exact same, but and they're just uh, opposite to each other. And when, and when this uh, turns into a horizontal movement, the horizontal movement helps to open and close the gripper. The most essential part you need is this part right here. And why is it so essential? It is essential because it converts a horizontal uh, movement like when you connect this to here, it's a horizontal movement. And then it converts it into a vertical spinning movement right here. So this is the horizontal movement and this is the vertical movement. And it converts it in a such tiny space. And because I don't have uh, two more of those, this is what I needed to do. Like this, this much space is not needed if you have this part right here. So, and, and by just placing these two gears 90 degrees from each other, I created a open and closing movement, which is a horizontal movement. And these are some advice on how to build your first gripper. If you want to add an up and down uh, movement so that the gripper can lift up and go down, you might need to consider using another motor to make that happen. And how I did it here was that I just connected this piece that stretches out to here and I got these two uh, um, bricks and then just connected to the and connected it to the gripper. And on the uh, opposite side, it is the exact same too. So you might need to consider um, using another motor for the up and down movement. So this is basically an example of how you can code the gripper. And now I will explain it to you. When the program starts, and if the color if the color sensor detects the color red, then the uh, gripper will close for 0 0.2 rotations at 10% speed. And if the color if the color sensor detects blue, then the gripper will run for 0 0.2 rotations at negative 10% speed which means that it will open, that the gripper will open. And we put it in a forever block because we want to make it um, forever and ever. This, this was a very basic code. And if you want to add more to it, uh, instead of saying uh, if the color is red, maybe like if you have two color sensors, then you can you can just put a line and then uh, the robot will just follow the line and then when both both sensors detect a line then the gripper will open 
pick up something and then continue its continue its way. So there are basically uh, many things that you can do with the gripper, and this was just uh, one of it. Now let's see this program in action. So now I will put the blue one in. The gripper will open. Now I will put the red one. And the gripper will close. It will continue forever and ever.